Hey everyone, KB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here with a pretty exciting video for you guys showing and reviewing the FB09 ice cream sandwich leak on the Samsung Epic 4G Touch. It is a leaked build, there are things not working, it is kind of buggy, um, some images are all messed up, so it is a little buggy. It's, it's just a test build from Sprint, uh, so big shout out and thanks to the source that will remain anonymous so thanks to him as well as i do want to give a thanks to hey k do for hooking me up with the download link he graciously re-uploaded it for me but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the review so first of all i do want to show you guys i'm going to go to the menu button as you can see this menu is a little different already uh, go to settings the settings menu is just like ice cream sandwich a little bug you'll see a red outline around my screen as I run through some things. Um, see if I can get it to pop up. But you'll see it throughout the review that does pop up, which is a bug. But as you can see, it looks like the stock settings menu, but it is themed with the TouchWiz icons, of course. Touch, you'll find TouchWiz being uh, used quite a bit in, uh, in this build. So it's actually kind of disappointing that they themed this so much with the touch was overlay. But anyways, as you can see, Android version 4.0.3 right there, build number FB09 test. So it is a test build, as I said. Uh, let's see if this works. Oh, it does. So uh, Android 4.0.3, which I would assume will be the OTA once it eventually comes. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and go over some other things. I do want to show you guys the lock screen, which is probably my favorite lock screen I've used on any phone. It's really cool actually. So you just swipe the screen anywhere to unlock. You'll see it just shows up a uh, little padlock right there. It works very well. It's actually pretty smooth even on this leak. So you'll see it pops up. You just go outside the circle and it unlocks. It works very well. Um, another thing that's very disappointing is the messaging application is pretty much not themed any differently from Gingerbread. It's extremely just disappointing. You only have two input methods you have Samsung keypad as well as swipe you do have the Google voice talking uh, I can show you guys that but anyways let's go ahead and text Google uh, 466453 and uh, let's we can just say hi to them actually let's go ahead and test out the the voice command I don't know if this is gonna work very well considering I am uh, behind a camera but let's try it hello this is a test of the Google Voice test. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, let's go ahead and it's still listening to me. So as you can see, it, it uh, basically does it in real time as you talk. So it's actually pretty cool because it doesn't listen and then analyze. It does it while you're talking to it. So it seems to be working very well. I don't know if it's really copying what I'm saying because... Okay. So it seems to work pretty well. Let's say done. There you have it. So that works decently well. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of, there's some uh, mistakes in there, but I'm not really gonna mess with it. Let's go ahead and send this to Google. I know they're probably gonna get mad when I send this to them. <laughs> but anyways, they should respond back. Something I wanna show you with the lock screen is uh, the, uh, the different uh, lock screen that shows up when you get a messaging application. Some other things I wanna show you guys, the Icons up here are pretty disappointing. They're actually a little goofy. They need to be updated, of course. As you can see, it looks like you got the stock signal bars going, but that will change to a different icon. So you'll notice that'll change uh, up there. You'll also notice that it does not have that stock blue in the battery icon. It looks like it's got the gingerbread green, so that's actually very disappointing as well. The Wi-Fi icon is way off. I mean, you'll see these icons aren't very centered very well. It is just a test build, so... Uh, definitely um, be a little patient with that. There is no way to install it yet. I will do a video on how to install it once it comes out. Um, so keep that in mind. This is just kind of a teaser video until you can install it yourself. Uh, anyways, up at the top you got your basically your notifications, uh, quick panel widgets up there. Um, looks like it's missing the 4G one. You'll see there's a little, little edge right there. Um, but those are the only four that show up as of right now. Um, You've got really no no sign of the ice cream sandwich blue anywhere, not even in the notification bar as you can see. Looks just like the gingerbread notification bar, which I hope they really, really decide to re-theme this stuff because this is actually 
pretty embarrassing of Samsung to not even come up with anything new for an entirely new operating system uh, build. So very disappointing. Anyways, uh, in the notification bar, you, you can swipe away notifications. So if I want to swipe away my messages, I can. That works very well, which is actually very nice. As you can see, I installed a couple apps, which I will uh, test for you guys. I'm just trying to swipe them away. So that works well. Um, looks like Google's not getting my text. Looks like it's still stand sending, which is kind of, uh, which kind of stinks. Looks, maybe it's because it was over, uh, over one text but let's try and text them again and just say hi and see if it sends uh, one thing I do want to go over is um, MMS doesn't work so picture messaging didn't work it wouldn't send a picture and it also would not uh, receive basically it would receive the text but it wouldn't let me download it looks like I'm gonna need to do a PRL and profile update so I'm gonna do that real quick I'll be back all right, so I did a reboot. Hopefully, it uh, hopefully it does work. As you can see up at the top, if you guys uh, can tell, the signal bars are different. Um, they do switch back and forth, so it's actually kind of strange. It looks like the icons are all lined up again. They get pretty wonky up at the top. Um, <laughs> but uh, let's try and text Google once more. My guess is the reboot will help. It'll probably send right away. And it did. So let's go ahead and wait for their response. It's something I want to show you with the lock screen. I will be running a quadrant as well as showing you Angry Birds. Uh, you did see that red outline, which is kind of a pain, but it, every, overall everything seems to be working pretty well. Um, no issues really at all. Um, you got basically your ice cream sandwich applications right here, Google Talk, Gmail. Let's go to my Gmail. Should show up, yeah. As you can see, you got my YouTube, uh, YouTube emails going on, but you do have that stock ice cream sandwich gmail with the app drawer um basically you can't scroll through all your apps at the end you get that little animation as you can see it does include all your sprint bloatware your sprint tv your sprint radio music id um, nova 2 hd nascar so you got all those bloatware apps your home screens you can pinch in see them all uh, when you get to the end it doesn't go through them it's got that animation as well as you can see you can still go through so now it's a little bit modified as you can see that the transition of the home screens is a little different so uh, but it's not really a whole entire new touch Wiz version of course which is kind of awful i'm actually pretty disappointed in this theme job by samsung uh, very poor i really hope that they decide to update this hopefully this is just a test build to try and get things working before they do run a new theme because this is awful they need to retheme their icons they need to retheme everything their dialer it's actually very very disappointing and upsetting if samsung decides to release it with this theme um, I will be very angry at Samsung. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and looks like uh, Google's not texting me back for some reason. They should be. But let's go ahead and check out Angry Birds. Um, figured I'd run a game, see what it looks like while uh, running this leak. But I must say I did run it once already and it works pretty well. Um, no lag whatsoever running the game, which is kind of great. I figured I'd play Angry Birds just because... Uh, people would know what it needs to look like so as you can see no uh no lag going back and forth between screens no animation lag um just overall working working well so there you have it so that's actually kind of nice that uh, you got your your games running very well um but anyways let's go ahead and uh try some other stuff out whoop all right, let's go ahead and check out the quadrant standard uh, quadrant standard score. Let's go ahead and run it. I don't know how well it's going to run. I haven't done this this one yet, so let's run full benchmark. I'll actually run it again after it runs this time uh, just to see what the score is, but I won't make you sit through it. I figure you guys will probably want to see what the, what the animations look like and how long these screens take. Looks like CPU is taking a long time be interesting to see if any developer can turn this into basically a daily driver I mean um, it's got a lot of issues it looks it kind of seemed like it had lost a signal issue considering I couldn't send any text messages which is kind of a bummer so that's interesting as well as you can't you use MMS at least with my testing you couldn't maybe there's a workaround I don't know I just did um, some pretty 
short testing, but overall this screen looks pretty nice. No, no flickering, nothing like that. Everything looks pretty smooth. Frames per second down there, not bad. Um, so overall it's pretty smooth. That's actually nice to see. We'll see what the Quadrant score looks like. I'm not much of a benchmark guy though, um, but I figured I'd run it for you guys since I'm sure some of you guys will want to know. And getting to the last screens. Gosh, it's pretty late. I've been up all night testing this for you guys. <laughs> it's already 6 in the morning. Anyways, uh, benchmark result. Let's proceed. And there we go. Your device, 2693. Something tells me that's not very good for our, our device. Uh, but I don't know. Actually, it looks like Samsung Galaxy Nexus on stock is right there. So maybe that's a good sign. I don't know what... I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't run benchmarks, so I don't know if that's good or not. I will put an annotation. I'll do a little research and decide. Looks like it will be, considering it's on stock and Galaxy. Ne it's higher than the Galaxy Nexus as well as the Galaxy Tab. So that's actually kind of exciting. So I don't know what that means, but it is pretty exciting. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and run through some other things I wanted to show you guys. Uh, to take a screenshot, volume down and power button at the same time. Press and hold it, takes a screenshot. It's no more, uh, I believe it was home button and power button to take a screenshot. And then you got a little preview of it, letting you know it got captured. You do have that carousel effect going on where it will uh, basically, you can swipe away your applications that are running. So I do want to show you guys something. So if I go to my messaging and hit home, it'll obviously be running in the background. I can press and hold the home button. Go to my task manager, and you'll see the messaging app is in my task manager as a running application. So I will go to my carousel right there, uh, my recent apps, running apps, and I will swipe away messaging, and I'll go back into the task manager. As you can see, it won't be there. So it is kind of a little confirmation letting you know that it uh, kind of does end applications when you swipe them away. It doesn't just clear them out of the recent apps um, list. But uh, other than that, I'm still kind of waiting for that text message to come in. Maybe I'll text myself real quick. All right, so I went ahead and texted myself. The, the text came in. As you can see on the lock screen, it does show up as a little uh, messaging there. All you do is press on it and go outside, and it will go to your message, actually. So that's actually pretty nice. You can unlock it or go to the message directly, which is great. I love having that shortcut. As you can see, I just said hi to myself. Uh, but that's actually a very, very nice feature that it does have. So that's great. Um, another little thing I do want to question Samsung on is, let's check this out. So I bring up my calendar application. Let's drop it on the voicemail and create a folder. Oh wait, it's not letting me. I don't get that at all, why they didn't include that. Oh, once again, this is a test build, so hopefully they do start to include these things, but if they don't, Samsung probably will be hearing me from me on their Twitter, so we'll see what they decide to do with future builds. This is an earlier leaked build, FB09, so it was on the 9th of, of February. But anyways, other than that, uh, let's go ahead and see if they, it has face unlock. I don't know if it does. Let's go to security and check it on out. Security, screen lock, it does have face unlock. So let me go ahead and let's try and get it set up. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. No guarantee that it's gonna work. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, and also no guarantee I'm gonna be looking pretty. I've been up all night uh, doing this kind of stuff for you guys. So let's just go ahead and try it out. Um, set it up. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's continue and see what it does. So it's starting up. Oh, let me go ahead and bring this up. I hope you guys can see it on the camera. Looks like you can. So I'm just putting my face in there. So it's this face captured. Let's continue. I was moving around, so hopefully this works. Let's go to my pattern. Let's set up a pattern. Just the L. And uh, you're all done. To unlock your phone, just look at it. So we'll see how this goes. Let's test it on out. Should uh, turn on my camera. Oh, wow. That worked pretty well. That was pretty surprising. I was not expecting that. Wow, that's quick. That might even be quicker than the photon. Photon was pretty good. It's got even my camera in there. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having a lot of fun playing with this. So as you can see, face unlock works very well, uh, which is actually pretty exciting. Um, let's go ahead and check out the uh, rear, the rear camera. Um, let's see what that looks like. See if it's any different at all. It does not look like it. Any much difference from the gingerbread application at all. 
But let's go ahead and adjust this camera. All right, but other than that, that's pretty much just a full review of the FB09 leaked ice cream sandwich build on the Epic 4G Touch. I wanted to get everything in as, po as much as possible because I knew I'd be getting a lot of questions with people asking me about different things. So I tried to cover everything. I hope I did. Calls work. Incoming and outgoing calls work. Text messages work. Just MMS. Picture messaging does not work. But other than that, I mean, everything is decent. Uh, it's, it's buggy, as I've said and shown. But uh, otherwise, it's it's okay. I'm still a little disappointed in the theming of uh, TouchWiz, the TouchWiz overlay on Ice Cream Sandwich. 4G does work as well, in case you were wondering. I didn't test Bluetooth or GPS, but uh, maybe someone else can do that once we get it working for you guys. But uh, stay tuned for a how-to video. We, I will be doing that. Be sure to subscribe to me. Uh, click that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.